Welcome back to Vader TV. I'm John Chennault. and I'm speaking today with Tom Wild, CEO of EveryZing. Tom, welcome. Uh, they're doing a uh, search service. Started out as a podcast search service, really. That's right. Now you're working with offline content producers to help them uh, let people search their content online, convert multimedia stuff to text. Uh, you recently had a partnership, I think, with theglobe.com. Talk a little bit about what is the value add that you're, you're offering these offline publishers. Yeah, that's right. We. Uh in uh, June of uh, this year, uh, we relaunched as everything and uh, evolved the company from uh, a focus that was just on podcasts mm -hmm. to all forms of multimedia online, including video, obviously, which has is, which is seen explosive growth over the last two years. Uh, so what, what we do is, is uh, provide what we call media merchandising services to people who produce content and want to make it available online. Mm -hmm. And uh, that enables two things. Uh, it enables a much richer uh, search capability within multimedia, mm -hmm. uh, as, as well as uh, search engine optimization for media files. So um, we are sort of the inverse of the big video search engines like Google Video or Blinks or Truvio. Uh, instead, we take the videos and we optimize them for video search engines. Mm -hmm. um, so they'd be, you know, they would benefit. Um, from just better discovery of the content uh, with our technology. So you're sort of working more at the front end with the publishers to get it ready for SEO or for the That's search right. engines, et cetera. That's right. Okay, now uh, how big are you guys and where are you at in terms of the life cycle of the company? And we closed a Series B in June. Mm -hmm. um, we have about 2,000 employees based in Cambridge, Mass. Um, we have uh, several customers including Factiva, Boston.com, uh, Intercom Radio, uh, and uh, we've been uh, moving from uh, sort of concept to obviously uh, productization here over the last uh, six months or so. Right. And now was it, was it was there a big challenge in terms of converting the multimedia content to text? Is that where a lot of your developers spend their time? Was that and you know, maybe some of the other challenges you guys are seeing and what the plan is to overcome those? Yeah, the company uh, was spun out of uh, a former our former parent company called BBN Technologies. Mm -hmm. And BBN uh, has spent about fifty million dollars over the last six years developing this technology on behalf of the government. Uh, BBN is a, a government research lab. And uh, everything was spun out, and the technology was assigned to us. And uh, we use that uh, incredibly rich piece of technology uh, to do this processing, which creates text from audio and video files online. Um, so that's a, a very difficult piece of technology to develop, and we're, we're fortunate to be able to start from that position. Mm -hmm. um, from there, we've now wrapped it with a whole product capability that not only processes the content, but then produces it um, with uh, search indexing as well as a publishing system for uh, SEO optimization. So you've got the, the money raised in June. Mm -hmm. Last question, what are you doing with it? Uh, primarily, it's, it was uh, continued uh, product development was mm -hmm. a big emphasis, uh, certainly for the last six months. and. Now that we're uh, moving into uh, early 2008, uh, our focus is on customer scaling. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're, we've had a, a very good fall and, and are, are focused heavily now on customer implementations. Okay. Uh, and then into 2008, uh, scaling on our sales and marketing. Okay. All right, Tom. Appreciate it. Good stuff. I'm speaking today with Tom Weil, the uh, founder and CEO of EveryZing. For Vader TV, this is John Chennault.